Here is our new outboard. Ta da! Still a tiny little motor. There you go. It's got a book and a read the instructions. Oh, it's in actually in English. What? Oh, muscles. Look at that. How light that is. Right. Hey. And it's a 3.6 starter motor. Oh, yeah. Spare starter coil. Spare one. No. Yeah. Because it's got written something there. That must be its fault. Okay. On off. That's the back end. And that's the working end. Twist throttle, dear. How good is the twist throttle compared to what we've been having? What do we have? The slidey, uppy, downy thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I much prefer a twist throttle. If we get a season or two out of our Hankai, we're going to be happy little Vegemites. Well, that was started pretty easy, eh? Let her idle a bit. One of the things with this one that doesn't have a forward and reverse, uh, it's an automatic clutch. And in the first two hours of testing it, it was really a little bit difficult to get used to. So I'm still trying to work out that. So at the moment it's just idling, but if I accelerate like that, it kicks the clutch kicks in. So uh, yeah, interesting design. When the choke is in the on position, the choke's actually off. So when the choke is in the off position, the choke is actually on. So it's just backwards from uh, the way I'm used to doing things. Alrighty, gonna let the lines go in a sec. Idling happily away, which is good. I'll go and cast off some lines and uh, see how far I get in this current. I actually did wait to the change of tide so that the current's not too bad in case I have to row back. See what I mean about it kicking in? This is Mr. Hankai after six months. Throttle all rusted, not turning. Um, the reason why we're doing this is because this unit is broken, but they give you a spare unit when you buy it. So obviously it's a known problem, but the Allen keys which are in there um, are so soft that we can't undo them, they just thread it. So we'll see what we got to do. Okay, Ricky, what you got there? Another bit of the starter coil. So why is the spring out, Rick? Why'd you take the spring out? Oh, because I did. Because I thought I could substitute, but it didn't work. Of course, we couldn't get the screw out. Yeah. The recalcitrant screw. And I put CRC on, and not CRC, but you know what I mean. What you did 40 and Trojanix and all that sort of stuff on it. Hacksaw time? Yeah, I think it'll be hacksaw. Cut that down, put a screwdriver in there. Several years later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at 
like it's moving. Spoke too soon. Oh, look at that. Champion Dennis. So it was stripped on the bottom, see? And that was holding the whole thing up. Right. Go. Yes. Success. No help from the peanut gallery over there. <laughs> and it's gone all the way in. Yeah. Now we've got to secure the fuel tank and guess what? we lost <laughs> one of those bolts. <laughs> but it should be okay. Uh, back together again. And this is what flogged out the center of that. So we've got another six months out of the Hankai before we had to retire it. She was a very noisy motor. We did have ongoing problems with that pull cord and with all of the rust around it. I think she would have been better suited for fresh water use as opposed to salt water use. And maybe we should have paid the extra to get water cooled as opposed to air cooled because it would have been nicer to have been quieter. <laughs> 